ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Tales of the Beautiful Game. Um, I'm your host, Nkosana Manfred Maposa, and today with me, once again, I'm with Se Vusumuzi Matwasa Nlovu. Welcome to the show, Se. Thank you so much, Nkosana. Um, today, we've got a humdinger, something that's slightly different from what we're used to, but I think you will enjoy it. Um, but before we start on the meal of the day, can you kindly subscribe and also follow us on Facebook, Tales of the Beautiful Game. On Twitter, it's Tales on Tweets. And also, remember to share with your friends so that they all can also partake on this wonderful menu that we have for you today. Um, today, sir, we are going to be discussing the effects of local coaches uh, on international tournaments. Let's say it's South Africa having a South African coach, Morocco having a Moroccan coach. How that whole setup of countries hiring their own citizens as coaches has affected the results and the performance of their particular national teams uh, on major tournaments. We're looking to look mostly at the World Cup. Um, I think we can say a little bit on Afcon as well and Euro, if, yes, 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 if you're comfortable. Yes. Right, so tell me, what's your sentiment? What's your take on this? Uh, I think hiring local coaches is, 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 a, is, a, is a positive move by, by most nations because uh, teams with local coaches have been succeeding more from the, based on what has happened on the last 10 years on major tournaments like the World Cup, AFCON, the Euros and the Copa America. So you think basically it's a good move, it's, you would encourage every country to, that wants to do well to get a local coach, a citizen, to perform? Exactly. Um, exactly. Alright, why is that so though? Do you have anything backing that up? Yeah, uh, based on the performance, they, let us say 10 years from from today, in 2014 World Cup, uh, uh, there, there were 32 teams, as you know, 18 yeah. teams that had local coaches, mm -hmm. and the same finalists that had local coaches. All eight, all four of them? Yes, 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 yes. So you mean that those that generally had local coaches did better in 2014 exactly. than those that had four expatriates? It, that, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that just one sort? No, 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 no. <laughs> because if four, four years later there was an improvement, 19 of them. One more. The, the local coaches. And the quarter finalists, which means the last eight of them. Were also the local. local. So you see, the, there was another improvement again. Okay, okay. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. What about this World Cup, though? How is it going? Uh, oh, on this World Cup, the, it, it, it seems it keeps on improving. Really? Maybe on, on, on another World Cup, we see all of them, of the local coaches. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> because, because on this World Cup, it's 21 of them. Uh -huh. one of the 32 nations in Qatar, uh -huh. the, the, the local coaches, uh -huh. you see, and uh, as we are going to, to, to the last 16, uh -huh. uh, to, today is, is the last day of the stages, uh -huh. uh, 14 of them, uh -huh. uh, 14 of the qualified nations have local coaches. 14? 14. So two slots are open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two, two slots are open. So we we'll see today whether we we'll have 16 nations with local coaches or not. Wow, it seems like this is a trend. Safa, please get us a local coach. <laughs> Maybe pizza or baby, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so what, why, why do you think is, this is the case? Why, what could be the cause of this success then that comes from having local coaches? What do you think are the drivers behind this? Uh, I think it's patriotism and, and commitment. You see, if you're coaching your own nation, it's different than, than coaching a different nation. I remember at one stage, um, England I was playing, uh, and, and Fabio Capello was just silent when, when they were singing the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Maybe he did not know it, maybe he felt like, no, I can't sing the national anthem because I'm tired. Mm. Also, if you lose badly, your neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I get it. So, with the patriotism, you are passionate about those things, so you bring everything. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay, it's just patriotism. Things. Patriotism. Uh, I think it is identity also. Be, <laughs> because if you are Dutch, like mm. Louis van Gaal, mm. like Fassi Ding, mm. like our guys, like Dick Advocate. Mm. The guys like you see, in those Dutch coaches, they know how the Dutch play. Okay. You see, so it's, so it's much much easier for for them to when they get there, they, they, they just apply the national playing philosophy. All right. Then it, when it comes to Spain again, another example. Right. Spain plays the, the way Spanish most of the Spanish teams mm -hmm. play. You see. 
Okay, all right, I see. So identity, commitment, um, I would also think there is an issue of you having to understand each other better, like language barrier. There is no language barrier. We all speak basically the same language. If you are German, we all speak German. Exactly. exactly. But in Africa, maybe that may not be so. Yeah, be, yeah. in Africa, it, it may not be so big because there are many, many languages in Africa. But usually, in, there is that one language that, that unites everyone. Yeah. Like in South Africa, it is Everyone tries to speak exactly. Like. Yeah. And when it comes to the, uh, I just mentioned World Cup. There is Afcon and yeah. Copa, yeah. and Euros are just run through them. Mm. And he, when it comes to the Afcon, mm. uh, 2013 there was an Afcon that was played in South Africa. It was won by a Nigerian, mm. coached by Stephen Ketch. Ketch, yeah, uh, yeah, Ketch yeah, is a Nigerian yeah. legend. Mm. Then uh, this year, mm. uh, another local coach won. Okay. So, so, so in, in Africa, the trend hasn't been much, but mm. the, the but there is now that, but it's also and, and, and in, in 2019 again, Algeria uh, won when they coached by the match. Oh, the, right, the another Africa Nigerian, coach. okay, yes, Algerian. Um, Algerian, sorry. Yes, also, I saw Africa has adopted those five of the is it five of the World Cup qualified countries are all coached by. Local, My local coaches, yes, that's true, and they're doing well. Yeah, 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 they, they are, they are, they are, they are punching above their, 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 their heights. Mm, okay, okay, I see. So that makes sense. Um, but it it does because you then if you if if I'm from South Africa, I understand how my players think. I yes, understand the yes, culture yes. in which they were raised oh. in. I understand. Yeah, no, nah, I think that makes sense. Um, what other factors do you think are driving this success? Is it just this for? Mm, uh, I think is the role model effect. It comes in the effect maybe because there is a guy like Sise. Mm. Sise captain the Senegal to their first Afcon final, captain the Senegal to their first World Cup. Mm. Then there is a guy like Rico Bethson, so captain Cameroon mm. to African glory, captain Cameroon to World Cup. Mm. Guys like the Dad Charms. Mm. So, all right, and they, some of these have done really well. Ex exactly. <laughs> this champs was the captain in France when the World Cup on home. And now he was the coach when they won. So 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 it's it's much much easier for them to 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 motivate the players because all right. some of them is their role models. Okay, all right, I get it. So they've got better control of the dressing rooms. So exactly. Yeah. All right, but then is it all beautiful when you have a local? Are there no disadvantages? As the, 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 there are negatives, there are negatives, but before I go there, let me just go through the Euros. Mm -hmm. The Euros in, in, in 2012, mm -hmm. there were 16 teams, All right. and 13 of them had, had local coaches. It's so it's openly large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Euro, European coaches basically trust their own more than African coaches. Okay. So then, uh, then when they went to the next round, seven of them mm -hmm. they get local coaches. Then when they got to the semi-finals, mm -hmm. all of them were local coaches. All right. That was 2012. Mm -hmm. Then when it comes to 2016, which mm -hmm. was won by Portugal. Mm -hmm. Mm, there were 20 teams there, mm -hmm. then 20 of them had local coaches, mm -hmm. 14 of them in the second round of local coaches. Uh, then when it came to the, uh, quarter to, to the quarterfinals, all of them, all, yeah. all, 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 all of them. So then, yes, mm -hmm. then it came to the last Euro we saw last year, mm -hmm. the Euro which is called Euro 2020, but what? It happened in 2021. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, again, it went out of 24 at local. 14 out of 16 on the second round at local and all the semi finals at local. Oh, nice. So, th basically, there is no st there is no question in the statistics. Yeah, Teams yeah. with local coaches tend to do better. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, we're talking about the disadvantages now. What what do you think would be the disadvantages? Is there any, or it's just beautiful? Uh, I think there are the disadvantages because sometimes hiring a local coach can, can limit your growth. Okay. This is it's some tend to say, okay, we are we are playing this kind of we have got this kind of national playing philosophy, mm -hmm. so we are not going to to adapt something from from, from somewhere else. This. So 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 in the, that kind of thinking can limit your growth as a nation. Okay. So, All right. Yeah, because you then become like in a, you're in a box. Yeah, the, yeah, the world becomes the box that you are in. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. I get it. Um, 
All right. The, then who he, 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 it comes to corruption. Yeah, I know that you say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Then, then it comes to, to, to corruption. Especially in Africa. There were accusations uh, that he, that Kylie Mbappe initially wanted to play for Cameroon, uh -huh. but someone else he, on the, in the Cameroonian FA before he took mm. uh, he demanded some money from from, 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 from his family. Ah, uh, no, that's so, bad. So he, he, it was a good channel. Uh, and there was there was something it was said about the Creed Mbolo. Yeah. Mbolo he had, he had a chance to play for Cameroon as well. And, and something like that we, is the rumors like that came up. Mm. So 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 corruption in Africa. And sometimes the, the selection is based on on, on tribes. Sometimes uh, there is yeah, tribal. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. there is regionalism. And sometimes what happens is that um, in some national team co coaches tend to select players from from other teams more oh so, yeah so, so if you're playing for along the pirates you're likely to go to the national team that yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. playing for sundowns for example mm -hmm. you see so mm -hmm. so something like that and 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 one thing that can be of disadvantage is lack of a big tournament uh, experience Pedigree. yeah uh, okay. experience because mm -hmm. a guy like rico peterson played at world cup mm -hmm. but he has never Play that World Cup semi-finals. Okay. Like this. So if he is to get to semi-finals, he may not. Nerves may actually get the better of the coach before he even yeah, gets to the yeah, Exactly. Exactly. Right. exactly. Okay. So 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 um, you 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 may think that okay, he getting this chance to play in the final is better. You may think that he, he getting the done is better. Okay, so, even if you're in African country. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. But I think we can counter these kind of things by, let's say, having our coaches going to train out there so that they can master the trends. And we're at least trying to choose some fair coaches or maybe trying to have a better selection, player selection process. But I don't know how we can do that. Yeah, uh, uh, I think basically for, for what African nations have to do is to... So, mm -hmm. so for what African nations have to do is to... Select a, a coach mm -hmm. who is competent. Select someone who knows your culture. Mm -hmm. Someone who knows your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Someone who knows how your background are. Mm -hmm. Who knows how to motivate you. Mm -hmm. You see. So if, if you are to select a European coach mm -hmm. here in South Africa, let him some let it him be someone like, for example, the late great Ted Dumitu. Yeah. He, he understood South African football very very well. Yeah. But he, because he had spent a lot of time here, yeah. there is a guy like Augusto Palacios. Mm. Palacios understands South African football. All right. Yes, yeah. right now he is busy with development football right. because he understands South African football. It's not like we were we just getting someone who would come there. Uh, 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 like Pereira, for example. Uh, 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 he came and he was like, these players are not serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but and those guys are just serious. They were just different. <laughs> you, you, you cannot say these guys are not serious because it's their nature. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so it's like you, 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 you can take a step in coach mm. and put him on Brazil. Mm. It's 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 work. So he, he will see them tripping around and say, mm. hey, You're hey, wasting our guys. time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, all right. I also think our coaches need to be hungry to, to, to adapt, to go in breath with these things so that when you're selected, you can also, you're not caught un unawares by some tactics yes, because yes. you've been developing yourself. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to say before I dismiss us? Because if we cook for too long, it will be too ripe and it won't be nice. I, what I can say is that Safa, you have to, be, you have to try, trust the local coaches more yeah, because we've seen a guy like Pizzo. Piso Musumani has proven it beyond doubt that he is capable. He's capable. Uh, and, and when it comes to local coaches, I urge them to, to if, if the chance comes, mm. go. If, if, if the chance comes, go abroad. Go, go abroad and coach them. Because if you are, if you are capable, mm -hmm. there is nothing that can, you can stop him. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget to subscribe. Um, do not forget to follow us on Facebook, Tales of the Beautiful Game. Do not forget to follow us on Twitter. Tales on Tweets. I'm your host, Nkosana Manfred Maposa, and signing off with... Bye. Enjoy uh, you don't know anything. <laughs> 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 All right.